In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add automatic motion blur to your tweened objects. So I've got a really simple motion tween with this red square. And you'll notice that even though it's running at 25 frames per second, the red square is still shuddering slightly as it moves along. And it definitely could be smoother. And this is because Flash does not add motion blur by default, so you have to do it yourself. But today I'm going to show you a really simple way of adding motion blur. So I found this really handy plugin, and it was developed by a guy called Justin Putney. And basically, with a click of a button, it adds automatic motion blur to your tweens. And you can download it for free on this webpage, and I've put a link to the webpage in the video description, so you can have a go yourself and download it. Okay, so there are a couple of requirements for using the plugin. You need to be using Flash CS4 or newer, and you need to make sure you're using motion tweens. If you use classic tweens, it will not work. Also, this plugin works with both ActionScript 2 files and ActionScript 3 files. Okay, so I've already downloaded and installed the plugin, so all I need to do now is click on my tween, go to commands, go down to where my plugin should be, and there's motion blur. So it's really simple, there's only two attributes to change. So this red square isn't moving particularly fast, so I'm just going to put the intensity to low. I'm going to make sure the quality is high, because I want it to look the best it can. So let's check it out. Okay, so the plugin has calculated how much motion blur should be involved, so let's check out the result. And there we go, it looks really nice, and it's looking a lot smoother with this motion blur. Okay, so that was a really simple example, so I'm going to make a more complicated one. I'll get back my red square from the library. Okay, so motion tween. I'm going to have it moving down a bit, rotating about 180 degrees, and I'm going to make it get bigger as well. So there's a bit more going on. All right, so that's what it looks like normally. I'm going to add the motion blur plugin again. I'm going to have the same settings as last time. Let's see how it does. All right, so it looks a lot smoother, and notice how it's created a few more keyframes in the middle because this is more of a complicated operation. So in the beginning, it has no blur on it whatsoever, but as it starts to speed up, you'll notice how it gets progressively more blurred, but then at the end, it goes back to not being blurred. So the motion blur effect is really realistic, and it really makes your animation a lot smoother. Alright, so I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I would definitely recommend installing this plugin and giving it a go yourself, it's hugely helpful. And as always, if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, please subscribe.